Hey guys, it's Dominic from PDR Canada. I just wanted to show you these new Ram trucks. Uh, we have a dent on the lower body line. If you want to bring the camera over, we can have a good look at it right here. Now what a lot of us technicians have discovered is in the door jam of these trucks, we have these vent plugs that come right out and you can get a tool on the most of the door through here, uh, which is a paintless dent repair technician's dream to be able to have full access on stuff. Now, I highly recommend when you're going in through the sides of doors this way that you have your window rolled all the way up to, to prevent any kind of scratching. Now, the same thing's going on on the back doors of these rams. So ideally, we would want this door to be propped open, so we use a door jammer. Now, all the dent uh, tool companies have a different version of these, but they're wonderful. I'll show you how they work. So we clip it in just like that, and this will clap, will clasp onto the striker. So what I do is I get it on there, get it nice and tight. So I'm not struggling with this door. So when I have a tool in this hole and I'm pushing on these dents, I'm not fighting with the door moving on me while I'm leveraging off the edge of the door. So this here, I just give it a little tighten and now the door is stuck in its position. So I will set my light up, put a tool in here. We're gonna work really hard at getting the job done and hopefully we'll have uh, perfect success here. So you'll notice I have three different tools set out here because I'm gonna be honest, I'm not exactly sure how that dent is going to react once I get a tool on it. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to try this Blem tool, which is a classic, one of my favorites, with a rubber tip on the end. Uh, it is on a body line, and sometimes it'll allow me to push that out nicely without having any, any little tooling marks. But if this is not wanting to give me what I need, I'm gonna switch over to something a little sharper. So let's give this one a try first. So when you're putting a tool in here, you need to be careful too, because sometimes there is some stuff that little obstacles that you're going to be working around. So it looks like this dent is right under a brace. So what's happening is, is this body line has a brace here and this isn't thin enough to get in between the body line and the brace. So now I'm going to switch to a thinner, sharper tool so that I can get on top and under the brace. So we've decided to go with this tool. It's a J tool, it's, it's a J into a thin blade, and it's going in behind the brace at the, at the perfect, perfect angle. So I'll get this in here. And then you wanna strategically attack this. Now that I've got it pushed up some, I'm going to give it a little blend here. Some of the high spots that I have. Then I'm gonna get back in there and carefully and precisely push the rest of this out. So what I'm going to do now, because I've noticed now that I brought it up and you may not be catching it on the camera, there's a little scuff inside this dent from the initial impact. So I'm gonna take a few seconds here, grab a piece of uh, wet sandpaper and water sand this, polish it, and then I'll be looking for any imperfections to finish this dent. 